Hey everyone, James here again, and today I'm coming to you with a drill on the forehand that really helped me on my own forehand when I was working on it. And I had the problem, just like many other players, of when I was swinging to contact, just after contact, I would pull across my body very quickly. And that was because, partly because of the reason I was uh, very tight, but also I was tentative and nervous. I was always worried where the ball was gonna go. So when I swung to contact, I would directly pull across because I was nervous. Now you probably have that same problem, a lot of you. We do see it a lot on the forehand. And what I wanna work with today is the lifting the shoulder to the chin concept and lengthening what we call the hitting zone. This really helped me. I always remember I was in a clinic uh, with Greg when we was working on this and we would uh, we was working on that lifting the shoulder to the chin concept and lengthening that hitting zone and it really transformed my forehand. So with that in mind, first of all, what is the hitting zone? The hitting zone is the length of time that your strings are pointing towards your intended target. What you'll see is at contact right here, the best players will continue to lift the shoulder and as you can see, the racket moves forward and upward out towards the target. And at this point, you can see that the hand is around eye level, the racket is still on the hidden side of my body, and the strings are still pointing towards my target. And then from this point, what you'll find is they'll rotate from the forearm and release the swing. But they at least get to this point right here, where they lengthen, lift from the shoulder, and extend out towards their target. And that's something that really helped me. Now, there's several ways that you can work on this. What you can do is the first thing, there's two things that helped me when I was visualizing it. The first thing was I was imagining and visualizing that there was a straight line going up at around a 45 degree angle in front of me, going straight ahead into the court. And I was visualizing swinging up along that line. And what helped also is lifting my shoulder to the chin. So lift the shoulder to the chin, just like so. And I would really focus on swinging up along that line. And I would hold the finish. And you can do that first in the shadow swing. Visualize that line in front of you. So turn down and swing up along that line and hold. Now another way that really helped me, that might help you also, is visualize that there's a staircase going up in front of you at around a 45 degree angle. So the staircase is going up. And what you have to do is you have to swing up along that staircase, just like so. Now, you'll know if you're doing this incorrectly, since if the swing breaks across, then as you can see, you're not swinging up that staircase. So you really have to make sure that you're lifting from the shoulder, the swing is going inside out, up on the staircase, and then you can catch the racket up high. And also, this is gonna help you when you add the ball to the equation, it's gonna help you with that low to high swing path, which is also very important. So you can do that again in the shadow swing, visualizing the staircase. So turn down and up on the staircase. And then what you can do is you can start to add the ball to the equation. So you can work on it first in self-feeds. This is the best way to do it, since it breaks it down and gives your brain the opportunity to process all of the new information. So I'll show you a couple right here. But just make sure that you lengthen out towards your target. You hit through the ball. It's very important. So let's see one here. So I'm visualizing that staircase going up in front of me at around a 45 degree angle, and I'm swinging up along that staircase, up. And that concept of just hitting through the ball. A lot of players think that this, this is just contact here, and then they pull across. You wanna make sure that you go to contact, but then continue to lift out towards the target, just like so. And that's gonna give you more consistency, also gonna give you more true topspin, because the racket is truly moving low to high, but also inside out. And overall, it's gonna transform your forehand. Now from the cell feed, you can progress to where you have partner hand feed you balls, and then you can go into a live ball rally. But yeah, let us know in the comments if this video helped you, and I look forward to corresponding with you all very soon.